I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. Good morning, everyone. Mr. P. back here for another juggling lesson. I did get challenged at the end of my video last week by the rest of the phys ed department with my one-handed juggling, so I'm here to go back at them. So let's give it a chance. I had eight last time, and they were all beating me, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, to 80 so now we're back and we're gonna go into how we do juggling with two hands and three items simply you're gonna start with one item you got to learn how to just throw the ball and catch throw catch throw catch with one hand okay one hand then you would go over to the next hand and what you want to try to do is throw it straight up you want to try to get it to one point and have you catch it right around your belly button like we did last week. Now, which the next part you want to do is you want to take it from that hand and you want to cross over your midpoint. That would be cross over to the other hand. It's kind of like you would make an X when you throw. But for the first one, you just want to go over to the next hand. And catch, and catch, and catch, and catch, and catch, and catch. And catch all right I want everybody to take a pause I want you put my video on pause and I want you to take a break and I want you to just practice that one-handed to both sides take about five minutes and do that and then come back and tell me how you did after these messages we'll be right back all right we're back and here we go so now that you've practiced the one-handed to both sides we're gonna have two items in our hands as you can tell I have two one in each what you want to do is you take your hand that you write with. So I'm a right-handed person. I'm going to take my right hand. I'm going to start with that one. And what you want to do is you want to throw the ball up to the other side. And once it gets to its highest point, you're going to throw the other ball up to the other side. Okay, remember, you're either using a pair, uh, some different type of ball or a pair of socks. Now, what I want you to do at the beginning is I want you to let them drop to the ground because I don't want you to concentrate on catching. I want you to concentrate on the throw, all right? So do this a few times. You would go one, throw, okay? You pick them up. Again, you wait for the ball to get to its highest point, then you throw the other one, okay? And you let them drop. It's very important that you see them cross over, all right? So what we don't wanna see is you take this ball and switch it to the other hand to throw it like this. That's not juggling, okay? What you want to do, and here we go with catching, is cross, 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 cross. Notice how it's going to the highest point and then going over to the other side. Notice how my hands are staying right in this level, about belly button level. I'm not moving them out everywhere, okay? You want to not move to three balls right away, okay? You want to practice with the two. Always crossing, make the X, okay? X, catch and catch, okay? Now, I want you to pause this again and I want you to keep working on that for a little while. After these messages, we'll be right back. Yeah. And we are back. I hope you had some success with that. Um, if you didn't, you keep on doing that because you can always come back to this video anytime you want and continuously work on this. You don't have to do it just for today. If you really want to learn how to juggle, you can keep coming back to the video and keep learning how to do it. It's a cool skill to have. Now, we're here, three items, okay? One, two, three. You put two in the hand that you write with. So again, I'm a righty. Two of the items will go in this hand, one in the other. It is all the same as having two 
of the items thrown, okay? The issue is, once you catch them, you have to keep throwing. So, let me give you an example. It's going to be throw, 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 okay? As you can tell, I'm not going super fast. I'm letting the ball get up to its highest point, throwing the next one. Letting this one get to its highest point, then I'm going to throw the second ball from my first hand. Okay, so watch this. Ball one, ball two, ball three. Okay, I dropped that one, and that's okay. If you want to, just take time with throwing the three. You can let them fall to the ground, you can try to catch them, but as long as you get all three of the balls into the air somehow, you're doing a good job. So again, watch. Ball one, ball two, ball three. Ball one, ball two, ball three, okay? Ball one, ball two, ball three. Perfect, all right? Now, if you've gotten that and you've caught them all in your hand, you just keep that in a rhythm. Ball one, ball two, ball three, 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 all right? You just always going one, get to the highest point, next one, get to the highest point, next one. Always crossing the midline. Each time it goes to the other side. So if your hands, your hands will just literally look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Notice how it's going up to the highest point, highest point, and I just throw the next one, all right? You're going to drop them. You're going to have trouble at first. This is not an easy skill, but it is a very good skill to enhance other athletic things that you do, other sports. Your hand-eye coordination is very important in other sports, and this helps with your hand-eye coordination because I'm not following each ball. My eyes are looking straight ahead, and I can see what's going on, and then I just place my hands to where that ball looks like it's going to, okay? So don't think of juggling as something, oh, it's just juggling. This helps with all sports because most sports have hand-eye coordination involved in it, all right? So I can show you that it's different speeds, so... This is a slower speed, and if you go smaller, it's much faster, and then you can just, okay? If you get to the point where you can think you can juggle, try to throw them smaller, and then that means you can try to go a little bit faster. As you can tell, you gotta really move fast when you do it, when you do it low, okay? But try to get the higher ones first because it gives you time to think about your throw, all right? Please. Post it to your Facebook pages for your school. Show us how you're doing. And I hope you have a, a good time trying to juggle. I find that it's very fun. It helps my brain. It helps my focus. And it can help you too. You guys have a great week.